Hey friends and family, this is SP News Nugget, and today you guys, we've got a story coming out of Albany Township, and that is in Pennsylvania, or Philadelphia. Um, anyway, you guys, it's in Berks County, and we're going to share some information about two deaths. It's a four-year-old and an eight-year-old, their brother and sister. So I'm going to get into the commentary of this, give you the facts, give you what I found out, and we're going to have to start digging into this one, you guys, because this one's going to be something else. So here we go. It's obtained by Action News revealed eight-year-old Connor Snyder and his four-year-old sister Brindley were found hanging from a cable in the basement of their Albany Township home last month. There were two dining room chairs found knocked over at their feet. The children were unconscious when police arrived. They died later at the hospital, days later at the hospital. Investigators served a search warrant for criminal homicide and confiscated an Xbox from their home. No other details have been released. The investigation obviously is ongoing. Okay, you guys, so found out this is a brother and a sister. The, the little girl's four. The, the brother is eight. And so the story is they must have took the dogs, whatever you walk the dog with, the, the, the dog walk or the dog rope or the chain or whatever, put it, supposedly have put it around the main trestle that's in the basement, the foundation board. One on one side, one on the other side. One put a chair underneath the little girl. Somebody must have put a chair underneath the little boy. And both of the chairs was kicked over. And both of them was hanging when the mother supposedly had found the children. The kids was unresponsive when EMS got there. And they, they tried to resuscitate them, sent them to the hospital. They was on life support system. And then they died. 14 minutes apart from each other. Um, so they both passed away. The mother, she, um, you guys, I, she's not, she's not grieving. She's not answering no questions. Here's a little clip of how the mom is responding to this whole situation. Here we go. An eight-year-old brother and sister were found hanging in the basement of their Albany Township home late Hi. last month. Now their deaths are the focus of a criminal investigation, and we want to say once again, the details of this case are difficult to hear. There was no answer at the Albany Township home of 36-year-old Lisa Snyder, the mother of four-year-old girl Brindley and eight-year-old boy Connor found hanging in the basement of the home on September 23rd. Lisa, will you talk to us real quickly? Ma'am, ma'am, can you tell us about their searching this property? Snyder, who has not been named a suspect, appeared 20 minutes later but ignored reporters' questions and quickly drove off. In what the Berks County DA calls a horrible, horrible case, according to search warrants, state police are investigating the deaths as criminal homicides and criminal attempt homicides. According to the records, the young victims were hanging approximately three feet apart from a single wired cable with plastic coating. I'm sorry, it makes me cry. I, to think about a little kid, I'm sorry. The deaths and criminal probe have stunned this rural Berks County community. Investigators report the mother was in the home at the time, and state police are focusing on an Xbox the 8-year-old used to view Internet websites. Investigators have removed electronic equipment from the home and want to weigh a 50-pound husky pit bull mixed dog that's been given away. And everybody kind of knows something of each other. Small, small town stuff. I'm oh, sorry. Just think of a four-year-old. Investigators reveal in records the cord was wrapped around the main support beam in the basement and two dining room chairs were knocked over next to the victims. Tonight, there's a pool in the back of the home and the shades on every window are drawn. 
Now, the Berks County District Attorney on the phone from Pittsburgh said today that he hopes to have something on this in the next couple of weeks. And the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services has confirmed that the two young children in the past had received services from a county youth organization. So, you guys, this is the mom. Um, as I showed you, she comes out of the garage. Barely the garage is all the way up to the top. She's she's ducking the lift, the garage door, so she's basically running. We're slowing the video down so you can see her, and you really don't get a really close look at her because her hair's in her face, and um, I'm showing you the the only still picture that you can see her see actually her face, and she jumps in the car. She literally almost runs over the reporter. She's just bailing out of there. Um, I don't know if that's the way you would react, especially if two of your children has passed away. But this is what this mother is doing. So this is why, you know, I want you guys to look, pay attention. I'm going to slow this video down so you can see it for yourself how she is responding and her behavior. Here we go. This is Helen Reed, and I want to give my own take on this case. I don't understand how these babies would hang a four-year-old and an eight-year-old. I don't think they know what suicide is. So there is something strange about this case. I don't know why a vision came to me about the slavery times. I don't understand what it is and what it has to do with this case. But I know something ain't right about this case. And the mother is not acting the way a nurturing mother should act. And had it been me, somebody would have been picking me up off the ground or I would be waking up in a psychiatric ward. But something don't sound right. And I hear there was another child in the house. And that's really taking me to a dark side. Is this a mother and son situation that they did these kids? For whatever reason, they, they did this to these kids. Or are we looking at something else more darker? Is this is a sacrifice? Because, see, the devil is real. Um, we're living in strange times. And, and, and people need to wake up to what's really going on. Not only what they see, feel, smell, or touch. This is, this has got to use with your your heart and your discernment and, and and people need to start understanding what's really going on and why that they don't understand believe me the Lord is talking and you want him to talk and you want him to show you what is supposed to come to pass now Everybody ain't going to believe what I'm trying to tell you. And if you don't believe it, look it up for yourself. But there's a reason for everything. And this case, this case is, is coming to a point where it's a message also. And... Because just not no parents is going to allow their children just to hang. 
and and not have no type of reaction because everything that's an action, there has to be a reaction. And her reaction doesn't match up. So just keep in mind what I'm trying to tell you. Just get the message. You don't have to believe me, but you can't take the message out of content. And that's what I want everybody to know. I'm done. Okay, be good, you guys. Be safe. And be nice to each other. We will be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday live at 5 Central p.m. See you in the conversation room. Bye.